I saw one of your videos you posted. You went to uh, the Agos to, and you were uh, saying that it, they will give you money. You went to beg for money yeah, and all that. Yeah. I mean, tell us. Well, 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 whatever you believe in this life, it works for you. Ah. Because in my life, I've never condemned any other people God. Mm. That's the, the, the little experience I have in traveling. I've noticed that people God work. I believe that their God works for them. But you are, you say you are a Christian. You don't need to worship yes. any other gods. You went there to ask for what money? <laughs> yes. I went there because I have something in mind. And I pray for it to work for me. Living in Ghana, abroad, a first time of visiting Ghana, or a company wondering where to get quality service providers in Ghana for any job, then a Jumapa On Demand Services is here to assist you. A Jumapa On Demand Services connects requesters and service providers such as masons, plumbers, electricians, auto repairers, home and office cleaners, trash collectors, rent agents, spa attendants, roofers, beauticians, teachers, CCTV installers, and all artisans on one platform. Yes, one platform. Trust a Jumapa On Demand Services to sort you out any day, anywhere, and at any time. To download the app, please visit the App Store and Play Store or visit our website www.ejumapa.com. Guys, I welcome you live on SBTV Africa. My name is DJ Nyam. If you just chance on our channel, I welcome you. The voice of the community, this platform is open to everybody, those in abroad. Uh, we talk to Africans, um, those in abroad about their life experience, what they've learned, what they passed through, and all that. We are learning from them. So if you want to come on my show, I mean, you are free. You can. Uh, my numbers are on the screens. It's open to everybody. Just WhatsApp me or send me a voice note. Make sure you don't call. Just WhatsApp me or send me a voice note. And I'll fix you. Pa, straight up. My name is DJ Nyame. Like, share, subscribe to our channel. Share to your friends. Invite your friends to join SBTV Africa family. You will never regret. Big shout out to all the SBTV Africa fans, including the new ones and all that. I mean, today I'm going to have a chat. Um, who is on my line? DHW, I have a special flight, DHW 1642 Concord Plain Table in Takula. Where am I going? I'm going to Vietnam. You see the gentleman Sorry. right on the screen. Yeah. I'm on Niger. Have fun now. My brother don't day. My brother have fun. Everything cool. Everywhere good. Everywhere good. Everywhere is Everywhere good. cool. Everywhere cool. Everywhere yeah. cool. How, how is Vietnam? Yeah. Um, Vietnam is a country for me. The experience with the other country I've been to, I've been to Cambodia. I've been in UAE, Dubai. I also work as an employee in UAE. So to compare with other countries I've been into, planning to go to again, Vietnam is a place someone like a starter can easily survive compared with other countries okay. I've been into. Yeah. We'll come back to yeah, Vietnam. Vietnam. Let's get to know your name. What's the yeah. name? My name is Nemeka Fabian. In Nemeka. I'm from, yeah. Fabian, I'm oh, from okay. Nigeria. Which part of Vietnam are you? I'm in Taiwan, 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 Taiwan. Taiwan. Oh, okay. Yeah. How long have you been there? How long have you been there? I've just been here for like six months now. Just six, six months. Six months. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, straight yeah. from Nigeria to Vietnam, or yeah, from where? Straight, 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 from, straight from Nigeria to Vietnam. Oh, okay, okay. So we'll come back to. Why you went to Vietnam, traveling yeah. experience or not that? Let's start from Nigeria. Let's get to know you today. I mean, which part of Nigeria are you from? Back um, uh, in Nigeria, what were you doing? Growing up in Nigeria yeah. and all that. Yes. I mean, yeah. let's get to yes. know you. I'm, I'm from Anambra States. I'm from Anambra States. Uh, and my local government is Agata. And I'm from Achina. Oh, okay. So, in Agata, I, I local mean, government, I'm from Achina, yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, tell us what were you doing? I mean, growing up in Nigeria and all that, but your family and all that, siblings, uh, uh, I mean, life uh, in Nigeria uh, and why you uh, traveled and all that. I mean, let's well, get to know you. Well, well um, I'm a businessman. I'm into glass carpet. I import glass carpet from China and uh, I also have a joint business partner. Like, I do a business with my a friend and also he's like my boss he's into importation of lighter 
Okay. Uh, since you are a businessman, I mean, let's talk about business in Nigeria. I mean, you go, you do buy and sell, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, 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 uh, how is business? I mean, you are a businessman. You go and buy and yeah. sell in Nigeria. I mean, yeah. how is business yeah. and all that? Yeah, business in Nigeria is moving well. Just times you have to have some challenges because of the the rate of dollar. You know, most times when you buy to gain a lot and you end up with there, you will find out that uh, you didn't gain much. So because of the dollar rates and the other things. So that's why most now business in Nigerians and most of us are finding it difficult. You understand? So the why most of us are also having a little showdown because mm. of the, the dollar rate, it affects a lot in businesses. Since you are a businessman, what kind of business is moving yeah. in Nigeria? I mean, you do buy and sell. Like, uh, depending on where a business, a lot of business, you can invest into a lot of business. Depending uh, on what you, are, what you know about, what you know and what like now. I've been, I just like now, I actually came here to import human hair. Like, I noticed a... Uh, uh, Nigerians, they love this uh, woman hair, especially Vietnamese hair. is moving very well in Nigeria. So it's a cool business and uh, people are making a lot of money from it. So, but still it affects, this dollar rate also affects it. So, mm. but most people are surviving with it. It's just their contact. How, how long have you been doing uh, business? Yeah, I've been doing business my since I actually because when I came back uh, from uh, Dubai, I met a friend. Now I was uh, under him. He was into lighter. Lighter, I told you about it. He imports lighter from China and uh, mm. all these uh, glass carpets. You understand? So I was working. I was working as a, rep a representative. So we buy. He buy and uh, I stay in his office and uh, we sell and a lot of customers are coming. We give wholesale price and we retail. So from there, we'll be managing before I choose to start up my own, uh, which is the glass carpets. And uh, we also do a team job, like the, like the lighter, uh, most times because he has a good company name. So I use his own company name to buy my and still resell. So I'm like, I'm trying to still survive. Not like I've grown all, like still growing up to survive. Like oh, okay. the most of, yeah, I don't know if it gets it. Yeah. Still I, get, I get him. you. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk. You mentioned Dubai. Let's talk about the Dubai. I mean, um, uh, which year did you go to Dubai? And then uh, what did you I go was, to do there and all that? I, I know was, people go and hustle and all that. Know, I mean, tell us know. about it. So, but I was actually in charge and uh, I did a company, I did a company job there. It was not easy. I mean, like, what, I, I want to know, what, what, what did they tell you? I mean, who convinced was, you to go to Dubai to go actually, and hustle? I know it's I a hustling a, field. I have a friend of mine. We grew up mm. together. He was my schoolmate during his school. So we grew up together and I saw him when he came back. He was telling me uh, about Dubai, how Dubai has, had favored him. That even as he is now, he's a businessman that imports things from Dubai. Mm. Like looking at mm. him, his outfits, mm. I all think it's all true. But when mm. I went to UAE, that's not <laughs> what I saw, man. Now are you? Because now are you? <laughs> Baba na hell, not in the shop. I said <laughs> even to you today, I shed tears. Like I paid nine hundred and fifty thousand both tickets and visa to go to UAE to work. I came back after two years with one million fifty thousand. That was what I could save. Mm. You see, I lost waste two years. Uh, uh, tell us, I mean, when your friend told you about all those things that you saw, the dresses hey, he was wearing, you were hey. looking. Let's let's hear from there when you went to UAE. Like when I went to UAE, before I went to UAE, I was told that my salary will be as big as I had never expected. That is just easy. That every machine works, that you don't need to stress yourself, that you have to, that you just have to sit one place, you operate machine. If you want to lift like a, a 50 kg or 30 kg of uh, 
of anything that you have to press there, you have to use a, a machine that you don't need to stress yourself. You just sit on a chair with your mobile phone. You'll be using the the the, uh, the machine that works uh, that you don't have to work for it. That was how I was deceived. Good house, and you have to be paid well, and you have your own resting time. And but that's not what it is. I went to the UAE. I work complete eight hours, and the eight hours that is this Jordan guy. That I don't know if it's a threat on me. Like, if you are eating, he will be standing at that particular place and be commanding you. He will be telling you, "Yeah, yeah." Like a lot of a lot of Nigerians, like I will say it anywhere. A lot of Nigerians are just here. They are not doing anything. Like most of them, they want to come back, but they can't afford the ticket to come back home. Especially, the fact remains that when you have a Nigerian passport, you understand, a lot of things, they will deny you a lot of jobs. Unless mm. you are able to apply or to get a professional job, mm. just like a nurse and a doctor maybe, which is only few, like 15%. I, I'm seeing a lot of people that, uh, at least agents that do this, they won't tell people the truth. They will tell you the truth that when you get there, when you get to the airport, they, they will be like, you don't be, you don't be, you don't come, you don't come. That's the orientation they are giving you. You don't come, you don't come. You have to hustle on your own. And for you to travel to leave your country, you paid almost a thousand dollar, one thousand two hundred dollar, one thousand five hundred dollar. Maybe some people pay almost two thousand dollar to come to UAE to, to hustle. Yeah, at the end of the one year, two years, you cannot make that money. And the agents, they will never, they will never let you know this. They are just after the little money they make from it. And the, our youth will not understand when you are trying to tell them that most people that you see abroad, most of us, most of them will just look good. You can go to any fine places because it's a developed country and take for them. And people will automatically think that things are going very well for you. I told someone, a friend of mine I wanted coming, he was in Calabar, he was a fortnizer. I told him, if you can make, he said he can make 10,000 Naira after his daily expenses, that most times you go home with 10,000 Naira in Nigerian money. Mm. 10,000 mm. Naira, that he goes home after his fortnizing work or expenses that every day that, the least money he has to go home with every day is 7000 That he wants to come abroad, that someone has been telling him that, that he's just wasting his time. I told him, no. You will come here, most of you are better than 70% of them here. Mm. That's the fact. That's the experience I have in UAE. But he didn't believe you, eh? He didn't believe in what you told him. He didn't believe. But at the time, when I tried to let him know, I explained to him. He understands. He let her thank me. Today he, today, he owns a house in Calabar. Mm. With the little he said. Because when you are in abroad, there are things in abroad that people don't know. In abroad, everything ha it happens to be every month. Your house rent, your Wi-Fi, your NEPA bill, your water bill, and the expenses, living expenses, it has to be every month. But the only thing that encourages some people is that they believe that, some people believe that when they travel abroad, it gives them more courage to put more effort on whatever they are doing mm. so that they can get more service. Like, you know, when you are in a country, a lot of distraction, like you be going some, like, a lot of things when you know your, your abuse is only on maybe you pay your house rent every year a lot of like most people won't have the motivation to put more effort in whatever they are doing that that they earn money from so but when you are in abroad most people have this orientation that when you are in abroad and when you put effort in whatever you are doing like when you know that you have a bill to pay every month you will do everything you may attach every other business from what, whatever you are doing to gain more so that you'll be able to pay your bills every month. That's the orientation some people have when they are traveling to abroad and you have a lot of opportunities. 
That's what what, what you are saying is common thing. It's something that is happening in Africa. Uh, most of us, when we get a job, we get something to do. We don't put, we don't put in our best. We don't kill ourselves as we do when we go to abroad. Why? Yes, yes. You know, you, you know. Eh, the fact remains that in our in our country, mostly Nigeria, the salary they pay people like we are not motivated to work to put more effort. If in Nigeria they pay very well, like in Africa they pay very well, most of us will just come here for a visit and go. Nobody wants to stay in someone's land, like nobody wants to leave his lovely family just to stay abroad to hustle all his life, two years, three years. Some people spend five years without coming back home. Most of them they don't enjoy it. But the truth is that the reason why people put more effort, you understand, abroad because they know that they have that deal to pay. And they believe that, you know, say African countries like abroad, when you put more effort, your salary can be increased. And you can also have a bonus when you put more effort and work hard. That's just it. But in, in Nigeria, in African countries, not like that. Mm. Most bosses mm. don't pay. Like most boss don't pay. Like most directors, they don't pay. Because of the same thing I complain. A boss can complain that you can see the business is dull. We are not having a lot of we are we are not having customers and the other things. They will be giving you enough excuses that you too will understand that there's no customer. You can see we have these goods and we have not been able to sell because of dollar rates and other things. So most of them they, they can't pay workers. Abroad it's not like that. Whether the, there is a customer or there is no customer, their salary must be paid. In UAE it's not like that. Before moving to UAE, uh, uh, let me ask yeah. you, these, these things, uh, people are complaining, it's all over on the internet, in uh, your media, yeah. TV, and all that. I mean, uh, it's not something new. I mean, I'm sure you heard about it, but you still decided to go. I mean, tell me why. Yeah. Or you didn't hear about it, how people are crying, people are being deported, people are coming home, people are not getting jobs and all over. It's all over on, on social media brother, and also on our, brother, our, our, our the, TV set. Yes, the, the truth is that, I don't know, as an Africa, I don't, the experience I had, like, as in Nigeria, especially if I'm seeing Africa, if I'm saying Africa, I have to be specific. In Nigeria, before you could get that welfare job, bro, you go suffer. That's the fact. Even in, even in like, like, most times when I, when I cancelled from my company where I was working to, I tried to apply to another job. But when I, show, when I gave them my passport, if they noticed that I'm in Nigeria, they won't so, The only word they use is Charlie Wale. My read. My read Nigeria. My read. Charlie Wale. That's that. Like, I know need a Nigerian person. Go. So that's why is it not because of is it not because of uh, some of um, I mean because of uh, some of the things your brothers and sisters are doing there? No, we, we, the truth remains that frustration can cause a lot of sin. Now most of our brothers there are having an issues. Most of them maybe they can tag my. All of them are non Nigerians. The most of people that have those things are not Nigerians. But the moment you are black, people will tag you Nigerians. The fact mm. that we still have we still have good Nigerians, that's the fact. Nigerians are ready to work. Nigerians, the, the reason why you see most people that you see, you can see the when you, you hear something like coffee crash in the UAE. You will see it internet, you have a coffee crash or whatever. Most boys there, most guys there, and most girls there, it's just frustration. A country where you cannot be well paid, you don't have anything to lose. Most of them are ready to go. Highest, if I commit this crime, they will take me back to my country. At least, it will only take, they will only stress me, to, like maybe I will just start for some days or for some weeks inside the, inside the cell or prison. Then they will take me home because I don't have my ticket to my country. Maybe most of them, they don't have money to pay tickets. They can't go home. So most of them are frustration that causes it. If you come to a country where you are well paid and well respected, you won't like to make 
anything that will cost you a trouble to leave that country. Just like assuming you can you can't see such thing in, in Canada. You can't see such thing in Japan. You can't even hear such thing in uh, in, uh, in in Vietnam. Even in Cambodia. A lot of Nigerians, their build houses there. Yeah, they are driving expensive cars. They are doing very well. Most businessmen there, yeah, they are doing very well. You can't see such thing there. Yeah. It's very difficult. So a country where you are not paid and you can't get a good job, what do you expect? People will be frustrated. You are working for someone and you are, they are paying you $1,500 or $2,500. You will purchase the job. You won't, you won't play with that job. You won't want to lose the job. You will put all your effort to make sure you gain a lot from that job. But when you are not being paid, like today you come to work and your boss will be like, like in UAE, most people, they, don't, they act like Nigeria, they don't pay. Boss will, after working, some boss will be like, ah, some people will, some boss, some, some people will promise to, to extend your visa. When you reach the time, they will be like, they can't do anything. And you can't do anything. Your visa will expire. And you'll be walking around the street. Hopeless. And Nigerians work very hard. Africans work very hard. So that's why you see most of them, most of those things you can see about me. It's like you hear someone fight someone. Maybe someone. Let, let, let's right. talk about your that's movements to uh, after you returned from um, UAE. Uh, you came back to Nigeria. Then you said you moved to where? Then I, I came back to, from UAE now. I now came to Vietnam. I stayed there in Nigeria for almost two years and uh, three Why years did you before now. I, I actually came to do my master's. Oh, okay. So you're a student there? Yes. I came with my, I came to do my master's, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, okay, so tell us yeah. about Vietnam now since you are there. I mean... How is life in Vietnam? You schooling, I mean, work and all that. Hustle life in Vietnam. The truth is that everything about Vietnam is just good. The cost of living, the cost of living in Vietnam is just good. But still remains the fact as far as you are a black, <laughs> to get that way, that, that well-paid job, it goes to stress you. Mm. But Yes, you go see stress you as a black to get a job as a black way you be. Most times when you when you go and when you apply to look for a job, the moment you show your passport as a black, they will deny you a lot of things, but they pay very well. Like if you are lucky, like most of them, if they if like most of them when they send the invitation from Nigeria, like when they send the invitation, they pay you very well and they the most jobs here in Vietnam is just a teaching job. Mostly, it's just I, a teaching I know, job. I know, I know a lot of Africans are there. Uh, mainly, yeah. they are into teaching and all that. I mean, aside the teaching, uh, is there any opportunities uh, for yeah, Africans? Uh, there, there is no much opportunity. Uh, again, if you actually, if you have money to do business, which is the hair business in protection of the hair business. I understand and uh, all these Vietnam shoes, uh, clothes, and the uh, the what is it called? Uh, uh, this uh, fancy lights, a lot of things depending on what you are into. You understand? A lot of business you can send down to your country depending on what is moving in your country or the ones you know because business have to be a particular thing you know. Because yeah. when you invest on a business you don't know about, at the end of the day, you will lose a lot, you won't gain. Wow. You are schooling. Do you work aside that too? I mean, how do you yes. get the money to support yourself and all that? Yes, well, I, the kind of the business I do, like the, the, the hair business, importation of hair business, I, I make a lot of money there to take care of myself here in school mm. because the schools are not expensive, just like the cost of living here is not expensive. The, depending on your level, if you want to live large, if you want to live a low life, depending on your like a commoner, a commoner can afford to live in Vietnam. That's the mm. fact. Have you met uh, Nigerians there? Yes, a lot of Nigerians because the, because of I actually came with uh, the school 
the school. So the schools they are playing a lot of Nigerians. I understand most of them say, you know, where I am now, they just the school just starts inviting like a lot of Nigerians from from in their school. Like they are giving admission to a lot of Nigerians now. So mm. I'm beginning to meet a lot of Nigerians. Not like there are many. Like if you have to see any Nigerian within this type way, it must be one particular school that invites them. That's the fact. Yeah. So people uh, uh, are coming uh, uh, from uh, different ways. Yeah. Yeah. Are they nice people? I mean, you no, mean no. you mean uh, them, yeah. African? Yes, yes. Yeah, they are nice in Vietnam. The truth is that Vietnam people are in Nigerians and the blacks in Africa. They are well coordinated and well orientated. Like they have mm. self respect for yeah. themselves. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I saw one of your video. You went to their smaller girls. They are uh, is it uh, voodoo or what? Uh, what do you call it? You went there. You went there. You went there begging, uh, asking for money. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You know. You went there to worship their gods. Yeah. My brother. Money. My brother. You know, whatever you believe in this life, it works for you. Ah. Because what what i posted what i posted is just like before i posted actually i'm a christian yeah if you ask mm. me why i would say i'm a christian i would i would i still believe i'm a christian i would just say when someone asks me i would say i'm a christian but in my life i've never condemned any other people god mm. that's the, the the little experience i have in traveling i've noticed that people god walk so you believe you god believe that walking, you Yes, yes, I believe. I believe that their God works for them. But you are you say you are a Christian, you don't need to worship yes. any other gods. So no. why did you go there? To... Doing... <laughs> see, you see, I believe because I believe because what I believe in me that makes me go to that place. Uh -huh. Yes, I believe that what I'm asking that, that because when in Vietnam now. When they go to that God, what they ask for? Either they said thank you, or they ask successful business mm. or anything successful, mm. anything good. That's mm. all they ask for. You mm. can't see them buying cows. They, are, they don't ask them. You can't see them, someone be revealing to them, yeah. "Hey, I'm seeing a vision. Your yeah, grandmama want to kill you, just like African pastors." Hey, yeah. The reason why you not give birth is because your yeah, your mother-in-law is a witch. Yeah, the reason why it's not progress is because of your 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 relative or your uncle is a winch. That's why you're not making money. You can't see such thing in Vietnam. Mm. Yeah, girls, they don't do that. Let, let me give you a, let me show you an example. I'm I, I'm I'm trying to I'm as I'm talking to you, I went to where I'm babbing my hair. Just take a look, you can see the thing here. Are you seeing it? Are you seeing yeah. girls? Yeah. Are you seeing anything here? They have a store for it. That's their belief is when you go to their gods, when you smile, when you pray, things will move for you. That's their belief. So, That's their so belief. you went you went there, you went there to ask for what money. <laughs> yes, I went there because I have something in mind and I pray for it to work for me. And actually. I believe that if I believe it will work for me. Welcome to Second Generation IT Group. Hello, my name is Ferdinand Asamoah, Director of Second Generation IT Group. We've been in business for the past five years and we have a lot of clients who have come through the school and they're doing pretty well. We offer 18 weeks of cyber course which runs for every Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And people ask, why Second Generation IT Group? different courses in cyber. Cyber is kind of big, so we offer uh, risk management, we offer FISCOM, we offer cloud computing, we offer pin testing, and we also offer Splunk. Courses are offered virtually. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can just join the course without it. It's very convenient for everybody. You can reach us uh, on our social media, you can reach us on Facebook, you can reach us on Instagram, and you can also reach us on our website, which is uh, Second Generation IT Group LLC.com. The company that provides beyond excellence so that's my belief that's mm. why i went here because of what mm. i believe that was the reason mm. i went here
So you believe it will work for you? Yes, like you know, you know, them they don't have problem. You understand? You can walk around their country is well developed. The roads are good, and their things, the cost of living, they are surviving like a commoner can a commoner can survive in their country with their money, with their with their currency. So why are people condemning their gold? Mm. You can't be but you, wrong. But you, but you, you think it's the yeah. God that is helping them, or they are hardworking and they kind of like have good mindset and all that. I mean, they care for people, they care for themselves. They are hardworking. Number one, Vietnam people, they are hardworking. If I have to say that, because they have agriculture, you understand. Most of them, are like ninety percent of them, are working. Both their ladies, both their men, most especially their women, they hustle, they work very hard. Yeah. So, and compare with what they believe and their good government to them, things and their gods like they serve, they believe and it has and it's working for them. If there is a network, I can go to like four different stores now and show you each store I pass now, I can show you that they have this here. And when you look at them, most of them, you can see that things are moving well for them. Mm. They don't have this mentality of poisoning someone, just like African mentality, killing someone, be someone after after be, being someone after life, jealousy, and many things. They don't have such things like they don't believe in such thing. They don't believe in harming people. You understand, just like our African mentality, just like our, the other time I was watching something I couldn't remember, but it's a football. Someone threw a banana, a fan threw a banana from, from, from somewhere to a footballer. I can't remember it, but I saw that. I'm not a football fan so I like that. But he picked the banana and eat with trust and love. But it can't happen that, like in Africa, as a Christian, you can't. You'd be scared someone may kill you or whatever. But here, nothing like that. They don't reason like that. Mm. They take what they love one another. If I'm passing now, if I have a network now, I may be passing, you'll be asking, so you will see a lot of them. They eat together. They always have something like they love eating together. They will be like, we are having dinner today. Cause somebody, let's sit and have it together. They love yourself. You understand? So why so are we need, so we need to call? change our mindset, eh? For we to we, get there. Yes. Our mindset, bro, the reason why Africa, they are having this mentality of condemning people God is that we never develop, bro. A country whereby you can walk in, just like, just like I am now. I'm, I'm, people are seeing me. Look at how I'm dressing. I'm looking good. But I can't, I can't dress like this to my country. Either I jam a police officer that will ask you what, will, what how do you make, like, they will ask you how do you make money to look good like this. Or they will be asking you, what business are you doing? Or like, it's not fair. You can't, just like me now, I'm free, I'm walking any, or either you meet an arm robber, they will rob you. That's the part. But here, anytime, three o'clock, two o'clock, you are free, you can get a, even, you, there is a store, you can get a job. If you want to take paracetamol, you want to take anything, 24 hours store, you can have it here. If we have that mentality of good roads, and you can see their car, you can, on your own, even as a Vietnamese, if you can go for a loan, get a car. If you need an iPhone, you can go and pay anytime you want. You can be paying every year, monthly. You can be paying when they can be done from your salary. If you want to drive a car, you choose. You can go for a loan, and that's it. Nobody they gets that kind of mentality. Their yeah, ghosts are working for them. Then why are people condemning it? Because a lot of people have been condemning. I, I live my God, and be going to serve. I'm serving another people, God, and whatever and whatever. Things are not done that way. Um, like you said, we have to change our mindset. And it's because of yes, the hardship yes. that is uh, causing yes, all these things, right? Yes, hardship. It's not hardship, because of the hardship. Now, nah, hardship, now, nah, hardship and hunger. I nah, think they cause that kind of thing with people. Reason. Just like someone was telling me, I'm giving a gift to my gods. You don't need to give more to your gods because you believe that he can, he can give you more better than that. You just need, what they just need to give you, if you can see here, you can see just fruit. You can just see biscuits and cook. Hello. No, can, but are, are you are you still a Christian or now you are no more a Christian? 
I'm uh uh me, you know, say I we person grow up with that mentality, say because of what our parents said to us growing up, we we grow up with that day that we believe that God lives in heaven and he's the only one God and the most high God. That's what they told us, and we grew up believing in that. So that's mentality. That that thing still in my head as same person will grow up with it. But the moment I'm traveling, I'm beginning to experience a lot of things. That the, the fact remains that people got to walk. As far as someone say in the name of Jesus and the thing work for him, and someone say in the name of Buddha, the things work for the person. Uh, you left the place, so the network is slow. All right, uh, let's thank our brother for passing through. I think uh, he's having a problem with his network and all that. So I thank him so much for coming on my show to share his experience in uh, abroad and all that from Vietnam. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to come on my show, my numbers are on the screen. Just WhatsApp me or send me a voice note and I'll link up with you. Make sure you have a good internet and then you can just uh, join us. Thank you so much. I'll thank my production team, DJ Click, Sharon, and Tina. Like, share, tap on subscribe, share to your friends, friends and family to join SVTV Africa. Two up. I'm out. Oh, <laughs> hello, people. My name is Kale Boss. Hmm? The only boss. <laughs> oh, wait, what is? Ah, have you heard? Wait, do you know that Tap Tap Send is live in Texas? Oh, you didn't know. We went to New York. Now we are live in Texas. So, people in Texas and around, all you have to do is to download TapTapSend. Yes, TapTapSend has become the most unique, secure, and fast way of sending money across the world to your loved ones anywhere. Okay? So, download TapTapSend on Google Play Store or App Store. And when you're in Texas or around, you just have to put in the code TXGH. What did I say? TXGH. And you get $10 for your first transaction you make. <laughs> Very soon, we'll conquer everywhere. <laughs> Download Top Top Send now on Google Play and App Store. Top Top Send. It's secure, convenient, easy, and fast. <laughs>